Hi, I'm Johannes, product owner Tesla, and in this video we're gonna have a closer look on our MQT statistics sensor, which helps you to monitor your IoT devices to check if they send messages to your broker, how many messages and how big the pedal size is. Have fun! Before we're gonna add the sensor into PRDG, we first need to create the broker. So we're gonna go to add device, call it MQT broker, and now we need to specify the IP address or the DNS name of our broker. In this case, it's broker.hivemq.com. Then we can either provide tags or a device icon if needed. And we can also specify credentials for MQTT connection. So if our broker requires a username, password authentication, or a custom port, we can define it here. Also, we can activate the TLS encryption, so we can provide server authentication and client authentication certificates if needed. In our case, it's unnecessary, so we just continue with the default settings. Now we're going to add the sensor and search for MQDT. And here we have MQDT statistics. So the only setting we need to provide is the topic our sensor should subscribe to. In our case, it's test topic slash one. We're going to go to create. And now the sensor connects to the topic and every scan interval he will look how many messages we received during that scan interval and then shows us the number of messages and the payload size over all the messages received. So let's have a look into it. So in the last scan, as you can see, we didn't receive from any message at all. So we have zero byte for the payload received. And hopefully in the next scans, we should see something. So now we received two messages over the topic, test topic slash one, and in total the two messages were 184 bytes in size. So you can use that sensor if you want to know if a device is up and running and push data steadily to your broker. So you can set now a threshold and say, my device usually pushes every minute a data set to our broker. So I can say, if I get less than one message per minute, then maybe something is wrong, or even if I get zero messages per minute, probably the battery run out of my RT device or something else is broken so the client cannot connect to our broker. And that's how you can use the sensor. I hope you enjoyed our video. Further videos and tutorials are available on our YouTube channel. If you have direct feedback, just write a comment below. And if you have further questions, contact us under support at pesla.com. If you want to stay up to date with the latest news, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.